Well, Halloween <laughs> is right around the corner, and I, for one, am not looking forward to it. But here to get me in the spirit is my neighbor, Willie. Smell my foot. <laughs> you mean feet? Not anymore, I don't. Oh, man. Oh, this is one of my favorite times of the year, Michael. Did you buy a costume yet? I'm not buying a costume, Willie. Oh, so you're gonna make your own. That's smart. Last year, I dressed up in my old bed sheets and went as a spooky white and yellow ghost. <laughs> but it's like they always say, that sheet still wet, Willie? <laughs> I, mean, I meant I'm not dressing up at all, Willie. I don't even like Halloween. But aren't you excited about all the delicious Halloween candies, Michael? Mm-mm. I can taste them now. Necco wafers, raisins, duck sauce packets, <laughs> rubber bands. It's not even candy, dude. You know, every Halloween, my daddy would bring me to his favorite pumpkin patch upstate, and he'd pick out the biggest, round this pumpkin there. We take it home, wash it, and he carve a cute little face onto it, dress it up in a cute little wig and a cute little costume, turn it around, carve out a cute little hole in the back, oh, and then send me off to bed early. Come on, man. It's like they always say, you know your daddy's diddling those pumpkins, will it? <laughs> it ain't natural. These sound like horrible memories. Oh, well, you know what I love the most. Haunted houses. Every block has a spooky old place. And in my old neighborhood, it belonged to old man Jeff Dahmer. Oh, Boys was always running out of there terrified. And my job was to push them back in. You're, you work there, Willie? Well, it wasn't the most glamorous job in the world, but work is work. Plus, I always got a free home-cooked meal. <laughs> But you know who loved Halloween? My old dog, Lucius. Yeah. He was always trying to scare me with a spooky prank, whether he be hanging from the door by his leash, licking himself, <laughs> or hanging from the coat rack by his leash, licking himself, Come on, man. or hanging from the ceiling fan by his leash, licking himself. Willie, I get it, man. It's like they always say, that's learned behavior, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Willie. <laughs> How are you able to stay this positive despite going through all these horrible things? Well, Michael, I'm lucky enough to have the help of the most accomplished and accredited life coach in the world. Really? Yeah, he costs me every dime I have, but he's worth every cent. Come on out here, Woodrow. I'll call you back, Oprah. I'm with the client. Really, this guy is not a life coach. Yes, I am. I have my degree right here. <laughs> That's just deodorant, man. Well, now, Michael, let's be respectful. I'm just saying. No, Willie, he's right. I'm not a big shot life coach. And I wasn't really open on the phone. I guess I made it up. So you would like me. I'm just a big, fat phony. Oh, Woodrow, you're not a phony. You saved my life. Really? Yeah. Reminds me of that song that you taught me. Little TV sets going off inside my ears. Spacemen floating by, firecracker beer. Chase the demons lightly, music hits your eye. Up and down the sidewalk, take a doo doo pie. I love you. Willie and Woodrow, everybody! <laughs> the way to go, I'm Michael Che. I'm Carl Jess. Good night.